Does she swipe right? When she's on your Tinder, would you like to be more kissed? Is your job super duper sexy? Let's see if it's on the list. In this podcast episode, I'm going to talk about an article I read in The Independent Online about Tinder, and more specifically, what Tinder revealed with the 15 most right swipe job for men and women. I started this podcast because I really wanted to create an online community that supports parents, specifically dads, but I suppose more specifically dads like myself who often struggle with their mental health. If that sounds like something you'd like to support, please follow my podcast. I'm a happily married father of three and I'm totally relieved that basically Tinder was something way after I was married because I think I'd be absolutely useless at <laughs> it. I'm a bit I'm fairly rubbish online at the best of times. So basically those in the stato department at Tinder have counted up all the number of swipe rights for each job. And they've managed to come up with a list of the 15 hottest jobs for men and women. There is a caveat that they say that this data is US only. Like most statistics, I would also take this information with a fairly large bucket of salt. But anyway, here goes. So if you want to find out whether or not your profession is on this list, you're going to have to stay to the end. So let's start with the professions that apparently men find the most attractive in women. And we're going to go for the 15th to the most popular. So apparently the 15th most attractive job a woman can have is that of a estate agent. Guessing someone who's a real estate agent might work for themselves or is at least they work. They get up and work and have a good idea about real estate. So I suppose that's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, someone hedging a bit of a bet that maybe they're, they're a good catch. Uh, they might be able to help them build a real estate portfolio. And the 14th female profession that men are most likely to swipe right for is that of a personal trainer. That makes some sense, I suppose. I suppose if someone's a personal trainer, they're going to have to be in fairly good nick themselves. I worked in the fitness industry for years and I did see lots of attractive personal trainers. Although there is a sort of a bit of a caveat to that. If you're with someone who A, is in insanely good shape, that might be a bit of pressure for you to be like, oh, can I have that biscuit or can I have a beast cake or an extra beer? But as long as they're not, as long as there's someone that actually has a bit of downtime and maybe has a few cheat, cheat days and enjoys meals out the weekend, then it's maybe not so much of a problem. The 13th most popular female profession, according to Tinder, is a flight attendant. This may not be PC at all, but I'm guessing this is traditionally that air hostesses, as they used to be called when I was growing up, God, that makes me feel old. Flight attendants were always fairly attractive people, irrespective of gender. I remember actually having a girlfriend who spent ages trying to apply to be a flight attendant. And apparently during the recruitment procedure, they were actually very, very transparent about the fact that you have to be a certain level of attractiveness in order to work for certain companies. And there were some airlines that were very, very cutthroat about whether or not you were attracted to work for them. If any air hostesses or flight attendants are listening and have a bit of an inside track on this, I would love to interview on a podcast. I think that'd be a really interesting podcast. And 12th on the list of the most attractive job a woman can have, according to Tinder, is a nurse. I'm surprised by this. I would have thought this was much higher up the list. I would have put it in the top three. I think we've always had a slightly skewed view of, of nurses and probably thanks to the Carry On films in the 70s and 80s. Someone who's a nurse obviously has sort of inherent caring nature about them, very hardworking. I've met some awesome nurses. In fact, I don't think I've met a nurse I didn't like. The three midwives who delivered our children were all epic women who were the perfect balance of firm but fair, compassionate, kind, good sense of humour. So there we go, number 12 nurse. And the 11th profession that men are most likely to swipe right for on Tinder is that of a dental hygienist. I've always felt that dental hygienists are really clean people. Maybe it's because whenever I've seen them, I'm in a dental surgery, they're wearing sort of white clothes. They always look very well presented. I've never seen a scruffy or a dirty dental hygienist. And I suppose it's kind of medical, isn't it? It's someone looking after you. It's kind of that, that sort of maternal nurturing side. So yeah, that makes some sense to me. And just making it into the top 10, the 10th profession that women can have, that men are more likely to swipe right for, is that of a model. The reason I imagine that's maybe not in the top three is because maybe just people are intimidated. And the ninth profession, according to Tinder, that will encourage a man to swipe right is a social media manager. See, this is a sign of the times Th that this role didn't even exist when I was dating in the 90s and the noughties. And the eighth most attractive job for a woman, according to Tinder, is a pharmacist. Again, this is a bit of a medical vibe. Someone who's a pharmacist probably had to have some sort of medical training. They can probably prove exactly why your snivel is not a man cold or man flu and why you really need to just stop 
making a fuss about it and going to work. And the seventh most attractive job, according to Tinder, is that of a speech language pathologist. I don't even know what that is. If there are any speech language pathologists listening, or you do know what that means, let me know. I'm going to have a quick Google search of what that means. So I've just asked Google, Google already knows, what is the role of a speech pathologist? Evaluate and diagnose speech language communication and swallowing disorders. Okay. It seems to be fairly well paid. I imagine you'd have to be fairly intelligent to do that. So you're probably a fairly intellectual human being. Can't argue with the stats. Number seven, speech language pathologist. And on to number six. So the sixth female role most likely to encourage a man to swipe right is that of a college student. Just surely there's probably just more students on Tinder than flight attendants or speech language pathologists into the top five. So these are the top five professions for women that are going to encourage a man to swipe right. So I married a woman with this profession, that is that of a teacher. And again, I'm a bit surprised, like, like nurse, I would expect that to be higher. Female teachers to me are the perfect balance of hardworking, good fun, good sense of humor, kind. I'm lucky enough to be married to a primary school teacher, which is perfect because I'm sure my wife feels sometimes she's married to a child. Certainly when I'm sort of making up ridiculous UKLA songs where I should be helping people find book bags. If it was up to me, it was my list. Either a teacher or a nurse would be either the, probably the, the professions I would find most attractive and also sort of looking at the long-term gain. If I wanted to have a family, which two professions would I think were most likely? While someone... A woman in some sort of medical field or, or a teacher. For me, they're going to have the right balance of work ethic, good sense of humor, and kindness. But there you go, teacher number five. So apparently the fourth female job most likely to encourage a man to swipe right on Tinder is someone who works in PR and communications. Right, we're into the top three now. So the third female profession that's most likely to encourage a man to swipe right on Tinder is a founder or an entrepreneur. Remember watching that film with George Clooney, I think it's called Up in the Air, about people that basically get hired to, to sack their star. And I think there's a scene where the, the female protagonist, who's talking to George Clooney, the assistant, who's just been dumped by text by a boyfriend about what's important in relationship, what works. And she's kind of listing important characteristics in a man. No smile seems to be up there, which is, which is good, because that's something actually irrespective of how how tall you are or how rich you are or how attractive you are if you've got a nice smile that's a good tick in the box apparently but i do remember her saying and kind of making a point of it that it's important for a man to earn more than a woman i mean that film came out in the early noughties so i'm not sure if that's still relevant now but i still think there is a stigma about a man who earns less than his wife or his partner i still don't think it's considered equal for a man who's a house husband and that's unfair because actually is anyone who stays at home and does any level of daycare will tell you <laughs> looking after children is about a million percent harder than any job I've ever done. Obviously, I can only talk about my situation, but my, both me and my wife work full time. She actually earns more than me. We're fairly equal where we both have jobs that we go out to do and we both kind of manage the childcare, housekeeping, and it seems to work. So I think actually it's more equal now than it was. That said, I think if you don't work and you're basically a kept man, I don't know how attractive that is. Put in the comments what you think. Am I the being unbelievably old fashioned? Do you think it matters? Is it important? If you're a man in a relationship with a woman, do you think it's important to her for you to earn more money than her? And if you're in a relationship with a woman who earns much more money than you or all the money for the family, how does that make you feel as a man? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. Right, we're into the last two now, which I'm honest, I'm a bit confused by. So apparently the second most popular role a woman can have that will encourage a man to swipe right on Tinder is that of an interior designer. Again, in the comments, would you would you find an interior designer a more appealing and attractive job than, say, a nurse or a teacher or a speech language pathologist? So on to number one, so apparently the female profession most likely to get a man to swipe right is that of a physical therapist. As a man who coaches and tries to train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in his 40s, when I've got lots of knots in my back, I just get my children to sort of stand on my back, which I'm sure is, is not a suggested or recommended form of physical therapy, but it kind of works. So there you go. Those were the 15 most right swipe jobs for women in the US. Did you agree with the lists? Was your job mentioned on either of the lists? Let me know what you thought about the podcast. And there was a job that wasn't mentioned that you think deserves to be on there. I've just written a book called First Time Dad that's available on Amazon. It's a 42 week guide to pregnancy to help dads with their mental health and help them support their partners to the best of their ability. If you've got a Gmail account or like a completely free digital copy of that book, please just put your Gmail in the comments below and I can send you a copy. All I would ask is that you would leave an honest review on Amazon once you've had a chance to take a look at it. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're okay. Take care.